Hey there, my name is Dylan Schmidt and I'm an RMM admin at Proval Tech. Today I want to go over how to organize your computer management screen. Please click the like and subscribe button in the bottom right corner so you never have to miss out on another video. Let's get into it. There are two reasons you may want to take the time to customize your computer management screen. First, by default, the computer management screen will load a lot of tiles in your dashboard, but most of them may not be useful on a daily or even weekly basis, so they just end up filling space. Second, and this will vary depending on your automate environment, is load time. The more tiles you have, the longer it takes to populate them, and if you have a lot of tiles, it can add up. So you can remove tiles that you find aren't very useful in your daily tasks. Now into how we can organize your computer management screen. The first thing to note is that you can only customize the My Dashboard tab and not the Automation, Device, or Plugins tab. So if I go ahead and try to move some of my tiles around, I can do that here. But if I go to the Automation tab, I can't do that. So we'll just be focusing on this first My Dashboard tab. Now we can click this Workspace Settings tab, and this is where we can do a lot of the customization. So it pops up this window and you'll see it's selected to my dashboard. I can change the icon it shows in the top bar and I can also change the name of it. And then down here in this window we have all of the tiles that we can have selected. So right now I just have agent status and alerts but I, I can add all of these and as I check them click save and then close you'll see that they start to come up. And again, with all these tiles I add, I can move them around and order them. Once you start getting past eight tiles and more, you'll be able to slide through the tiles like you can in the Automate tab. Now you'll notice that I only had two tiles selected at first, and you'll see that the load time of two tiles compared to Automate, which has 11 tiles. This comes up just a little bit faster, and that gap will increase the more resources you have being used on your Automate server. So that can come in handy during peak hours when you have a lot of people using it, or if your computer is slow. In addition to setting your My Dashboard workspace, you can also create a new workspace and delete ones that you create. So here, if I click this plus button, you'll see it changes this to new workspace, which now shows up in this dropdown. I can change this to, let's just say, tickets. And here I could say, okay, I don't care about agent status or alerts. I only care about tickets coming through the monitors and alerts. So this is really just going to be any alerts or tickets that are being created from monitors. Once I save that, I can right click on this tab to go to my custom workspace tickets, which will show my alerts, tickets, and monitors currently. Then you can switch between the two. Now this default checkbox, you can use this to select which workspace shows up first when you load the computer management screen. So if I change that tickets to the default, whenever I open this the next time, it will default to my tickets workspace. And that's how you can organize your computer management screen. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on ConnectWise Automate. Let us know what else you would like to see or if you have any questions, please leave your response in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe.